good morning. <laughs> Heading out from Kiosk. Uh, is the, oh, the uh, 17th of May. And uh, Lake seems pretty calm right here. We'll see how it gets further out. It is just coming up on 10.30 here. And start of a 10 day trip and I am super excited about this one. Wish me a good trip. So, I'm, uh, I'm skirting this bay, I think I can see some snow up there. Um, the wind is looking a little bit, and the waves are definitely there. But anyway, I got, I'm passing over to this point over here, and then I'm just going to... This campsite in front of me, cross over to the point over to the right, sort of go over to that shore. bit around the point I was talking about earlier. There's a high water sign over at the right. You can see. Probably a sign of things to come here on Upper Maple Creek. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh. Which means less carrying. Now well, that's all right in my book. And I can see some fresh blue paint there. Somebody's been over this. Oh, that mess is muddy. But then again, that's what I expect. No, I just put the Gore-Tex socks on. Well, um... I just finished the uh, the portage from uh, Maple Lake to uh, Maple Creek, and uh, you can hear the water in the background there. There's the rapid. Well, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, I'm not getting rained on, which is really nice. 
But, guess what? The solo blues kicking in, you know? That same inevitable feeling of, well, man, what am I doing out here alone, you know? Ooh, happens every time. Um, I usually get over it uh, when I carry on in day two. But day one always hits, feels like it's hitting early today. <laughs> Whatever. Feels like it's hitting early this time. wasn't great <laughs> I um, I disturbed that goose I didn't mean to but uh, I'm getting stuck in a corner here anyway uh, I didn't mean to but I uh, anyway she took off off the nest or he did um, now I'm I'm worried that maybe I've scared scared her or the couple there was another one back beyond and I scared them away from the nest and you know they're not gonna go back and look after the the, uh, the young hopefully that's not the case but uh, not great and here we are stuck up on uh, I'm at the end of the uh, second portage I think this was a little 130 or whatever nothing much and uh, of course, if you know this area at all, you know that this is a this, this was a an old lumber camp. There was a lumber camp in here. It's, it's marked on uh, an old Jeff's map. There's a piece of uh, scrap metal right there. A lot. I don't know what the heck. Man, whatever that is, it's pretty far gone. See, there's more of that over here. Man, not a lot to get excited about in here. What I remember finding in here before was old, like, bed frames and stuff. Yeah, it's just more of the same. I mean, this is really... Uh, not that I want to destroy artifacts, but... Yeah, it sure is a, ah, here's the old bed frames. Yeah, it's just bizarre how they're sitting here, rotting in the middle of the bush, these, they're just like lined up, these little bunks. Uh, all along here, trees coming down over top of them. I don't know how long it's been since this was, 
you know, functioning, but a very long time, obviously. What else we might find around here? I mean, mostly it's just the beds, the bed frames, I remember. And then, here's some kind of a thing. A piece of a bucket, maybe. And then I guess, back here, this big meadow, I mean, this must have been, I don't know, I don't know what we'd find around here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking. I want to get moving, but I guess they probably planted things here, you know. It's gradually restoring to its original state, but it'll take a while. Oh, check this out here. Here we are. Now that's interesting. That's got to be a piece off of a off a wood stove. Airtight 1901. Look at that. Huh. Okay, now that's a little more interesting than the bed frames, for sure. Anyway, alright, here we go. Time to get moving. I'm only two portages down. I still got four to go. Coming up on a beautiful little waterfall here. Maple Creek. This is the 630 portage. Um, I remember this as being uh, a fairly challenging carry. Uh, and that's going in the other direction, which is downhill. So going uphill, uh, I expect it's... Uh, a lot worse. Of course, the GoPro is making that look like nothing, but that's actually a beautiful cascade.
Maple Lake. Um, I should probably give you a tour around, maybe later. Oh wow, <sighs> exhausting, exhausting getting here, frankly. Um, six portages up Maple Creek. Um, I'm carrying a lot of weight, more than I have in a long time. Um, and I'm feeling it. So, there's some, uh, there's some thinking going on here about where this, where this trip is going and what I'm doing. And maybe I'll get into that later. Um, right now I'm really looking to pour myself a, a drink. But you know, I mean, the temperature is, is cool. Um, but mostly because of the wind, it's not, you know, I'm wearing this thing. Um, because it's, uh, because the wind is, is coming through and it's, yeah, it's doing a, it's doing a number on me. Fantastic sunset, moon coming out on the left, sunset to the west, it's, it's a pretty incredible evening. Wind has nicely died down. <laughs> 